because I really want to listen to the song while I'm filming my intro, but I literally cannot not sing to it. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back. It's another makeup tutorial. Okay, what? Why? Why? Anyways, hello. <laughs> hey guys. So today I'm all over the place. I've had a lot of caffeine and so my brain is literally just not functioning correctly. However, hello guys. Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, hi, my name is Brooke. I post makeup related, beauty related, lifestyle related content on the reg. So if you want to join this family that we have built here on YouTube, if you want to join the squad, feel free to click that button down below you know where to find it for today's video we're gonna be doing a nice natural glam look I can really do this in five to ten minutes if I'm really pushing myself I just wanted to bring a nice calm look to you because I feel like I've been doing more colorful looks lately which I absolutely love but I know that's not practical for everybody so I wanted to put out a video that everyone can relate to so I filmed this look for you guys today and I really hope that you like it and without further ado let's jump into today's video Alright ladies and gents, so the first thing we're going to do is the skin today because I'm not working with any dark shades or dark tones, that's the same exact thing. And so I'm just going to go in with concealer today. We're not going to be using foundation or anything like that because this is a nice, light, natural look. I'm going to go in with my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and I am going to put this anywhere where I feel like I need concealer. So today that's going to be under my eyes, in between my brows here, a little bit on my cheeks, around my nose. I forgot primer. I forgot primer. What if I put primer over top of this? Okay, and just because I forgot primer and I just am freaking out right now, I'm just gonna spray my Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water just on my face just to prime what areas are not covered. It smells like coconut. And now, since that is dried, I'm just gonna go in and finish concealing this mug. <laughs> We have. I'm gonna go in with a beauty sponge and just blend this out. This one is the Morphe Highlight and Contour Sponge and I highly recommend it. Bring that onto my eyelid as primer as well. So now I'm going to take my Liquid Glow by Anastasia. I'm sure you guys know the drill with this one. I will be applying this to the high points of my face today using a stippling brush. I would use my sponge, but I don't have the one that I usually use for this wet. I only have like my concealer sponge. I don't really want to mix the two. Now I'm going to go and set my face and I will be using two different products to do that today. I will be using my Bare Minerals Bare Pro Powder to set my face today and then to set my under eye I'm going to go in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit and I will be taking the shades Vanilla and Banana and mixing those two together. So now I'm going to be applying bronzer and for today I will be using my Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. So now what I'm going to do is take this palette by Anastasia once again and dip into this shade right here. This is the vanilla shade. I'm just going to be taking my sponge and going up and cleaning that bronzer up a tiny bit to kind of almost mimic a contour, but also because I just went ham with the bronzer and I just want to kind of add a little bit of definition back into the face. For highlight today, I will be using the Makeup Revolution Vivid Baked Highlighter in the shade Golden Lights. So now I'm going to move on to the eyes. I'm going to be dipping into my palette. This I used to call this my life palette. It still is-ish, but I have um, a bunch of other palettes now that I love, a bunch of Morphe palettes, but this is mostly made up of Makeup Geek shadows. And fun fact, this is actually like the first Z palette I ever put together. So I'm gonna dip back into this, and if you have seen this before, then you are truly an OG subscriber because I have not used this in God knows how long. So I'm gonna be dipping into the shade Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek. I will be taking that on my Morphe M518 brush and I'm just going to start to apply this into my transition area just between the lid and the crease. I'm going to be applying this shade deeper in my crease because I want to add some depth. This is Frappe by Makeup Geek. And I'm just going to go in with the same exact brush just because this is an easy, quick and simple natural makeup look. You don't really need to switch up the brushes when going into that crease area, at least personally. I don't on a day to day basis. Now I will be taking the shade Grandstand by Makeup Geek. It is one of their foiled shadows. So I'm just going to actually apply this with my finger because that's how I feel I get the most pigment. 
Now I'm just dipping back into the brush that I used to put my transition shades on and I'm just going to blend right in between the lid and that transition area just to make sure that everything kind of just flows together and that we didn't create any lines. Now picking up the shade Rapunzel by Makeup Geek which is just this beautiful golden light shade. I am going to be applying that to the inner corner of my lid. I feel like I'm doing my makeup in a weird order today but I'm gonna fill my brows in and I'm going to be showing you guys how I've been doing my brows lately because I've switched it up a little bit and I really like the new way that I do my brows and also the new products that I use so the first product I've been loving is not new by any means and I think I said this in my last video but it's the dip brow by Anastasia I'm gonna be going in with the shade chocolate today this stuff is the bomb.com and I would recommend trying it out if you haven't already because it's super easy to create natural brows but also super super easy to go more dramatic. Do you hear that bird? It literally sounds like it's in my house. I'm like low-key freaked out. Is there a bird in the attic? And then I'm just gonna go in and kind of wiggle the spoolie back and forth to help blend that color out towards the middle of the brow. If I blend it out too much upwards, it's going to just blend these hair strokes together, which is not the goal because you ain't gonna try to blend away all your hard work, okay? Ain't nobody got time to redo their brows. Brows take long enough. What is the process and makeup that takes the longest for you because quite personally for me I think it's brows I mean obviously I can spend like all day doing eyeshadow but specifically my brows usually take a decent amount of time to do if I want them to look nice which usually I do always do so you can really see like the natural effect that it gives to your brow it just looks like you have naturally full brows which honestly doesn't everyone want that like to be quite honest now I will be applying the Gimme Brow by Benefit. I have mine in the shade number 3 and I'm just going to set my brows with this. I love this brow gel because it's too, it's tinted so it really helps to fill in any sparse areas but it's not too tinted to the part where it makes your brows look ridiculous and it holds your brows in place all day long which I love because my brows tend to go wild sometimes. I'm like calm down, calm down. It's a Monday. Calm down. To finish off the eyes, I will be using a brown liner today. You guys know how much I love using brown liner. I will be using Richie by Morphe. So I'm just putting a bit of this on my lash line to add a little bit of definition. And then I will be putting this on my tight line as well. Now I will be applying a quick coat of Bad Gal Bang by Benefit to prep my lashes for falsies. And for lashes today, I will be using my Ardell Demi Wispies in the Faux Mink Edition. So to finish off this look today, I will be going in with this Stila lipstick. Can't pronounce this to save my life, but this is the shade, and I will be applying that to my lips. It's basically the exact same color as my lips. But it's a little too pink for today's look, so I'm going to go over that with a nude gloss just to bring out more of the tones in the eyes. I don't really want the lips to pull away from it, and I just don't like the way that this is meshing. So I'm going to go over this with a nude gloss. And this is the only one I can find right now. This is the Dior Lip Maximizer. I love, love, love this stuff, and I'm probably going to pick up another one when this runs out. I will be putting a quick coat of mascara on my lower lashes. So I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. That helps me a lot. Feel free to leave comments down below on what videos you want to see from me next. And if you want to, subscribe to my channel. It would mean the world to me. By all means, though, I'm not holding you to it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I will see you guys in the next one.